Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to share with you my top product picks in the dog niche for September um, and of course into Q4 on to Christmas. With that being said, I've picked these products based on the data that shows them to be coming into demand and about to spike in popularity. And I've also picked these products based on the fact that as we come into October, people are looking for gifts to buy. So these are great products that could be considered gifts as well. They're not too expensive, they're not too cheap, the profit margins are good, but they're also unique and exciting enough to capture and garner attention on social media. With that being said, there's not a lot more to say, so thank you. In fact, yes, one thing, make sure you stay tuned for the very last product. It's a bit of a controversial product. I'm not 100% sure whether you'd get away with selling it on social media. However, because of the product, make sure you stay tuned so you see what I mean. It's definitely one that's gonna get lots and lots of attention. It's one of those kind of meme products, to be honest, that you could probably milk um, for a few months up to the Christmas period, and then after that, it'll probably die off. It's a product that if you're a beginner, new to dropshipping, and haven't got many funds to start, you might wanna start with that product. It's the sort of product that you could probably build um, a lot of organic content around quite easily too. You could use it to build the bank to then start afresh in January with a quote unquote real brand. So make sure you stay tuned to that. Any comments, questions, video suggestions, make sure you leave them down below. I see everyone, so I will respond to you. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and of course, subscribe to stay up to tune with my content or stay up to date with my content. I upload videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. With that being said, let me show you product number one. So product number one is from a company called, let me zoom in and make it as big as possible, um, the Woobles. The Woobles is obviously a massive, massive brand and business. I'm not saying you should copy their product. What I am saying is you should copy their concept. I will do a video specifically on this topic, but in my mind and experience, if you want to be successful at dropshipping, you take a proven concept and you find a unique and original product that also matches that concept and does the same thing. The concept here is crochet kits. It's perfect, perfect, perfect for Facebook because Facebook's biggest purchases or biggest consumers on Facebook are females who tend to be more into crochet than males and of an older generation too. You don't really see or meet many 20 year olds that are into crochet. It's usually people 50s and 60s. These are also the sorts of people that like to spoil their children and their grandchildren. They make perfect gifts Christmas day to do a bit of crocheting with your grandkids. Make a cute teddy or toy that they'll be happy with. This isn't just a random pick. Like I said in the intro, I like to pick products based on the data. The engagements are fairly modest. It's been running since August 27th, so it's not even going a month yet. Um, but the comments are not to be ignored. So this is perfect. I'm a dog groomer and I'm so excited to make these for the shop. Love the poodle, people posting pictures of their dog. The golden recipe here, if it's possible, haven't looked into it, would be for somebody to send in a picture of their dog like this and you send them a crochet kit that is similar to their dog. If you could find a supplier, I'm going to show you a supplier on AliExpress. In fact, I'm going to show you that quickly now. There's a few different options here. Um, in fact, I believe this is just the one option, but there are different suppliers on AliExpress. Have a look around, try and find some local suppliers. There's lots and lots of different toys and teddies you can make with these crochet kits. But in a perfect world, you want to be able to advertise different dog breeds so that no matter who sees it they can find the breed of their dog and then they can have a crochet kit to make a dog that looks similar to their dog and i think that would be the golden recipe here the other thing to keep in mind as well um, comment section is so powerful on facebook because people will tell you what they want so i think they're adorable but i'm sorry I cannot justify 90 dollars for three patterns and a small amount of yarn if these guys can sell these for 90 dollars and make it work it's begging for somebody to come in and undercut them. Obviously it's gonna be difficult to compete with such a big brand. I believe they went on Shark Tank, but to come in kind of middle of the road, sell a really nice kit for say 30, $40, definitely, definitely doable. The next product I wanna show you is this fleece that you can buy for your dog. The reason I'm including this now is because we're coming into the winter months, it's cold. People like to keep their dogs warm, especially people of an older generation who have smaller dogs. You want to find something that is unique and quality. You don't just want, there's so much tack 
on AliExpress, super cheap rubbish that people don't really go for anymore. They want something that looks like really nice and quality like this. This almost looks like it could be a human's jumper because it's that kind of thick wintry fleece like material. I think it's the sort of thing that's going to get lots and lots of positive attention on social media and definitely the sort of thing I can see people buying to keep their dogs warm during the winter months. Clothing for dogs as well is also a proven concept. I've featured many, many times in the past brands on this channel that make clothing for dog and I've done it to the sum of over seven figures. The big one, uh, the name of them, I can't think, but they make hoodies with dogs. You can buy a hoodie set, basically one for your dog and one for you, and it's matching. It's definitely a proven concept. It's one not to be ignored. And you could even try and find a piece of clothing that is suitable for Christmas. So it could be a Christmas type jumper and better yet, a Christmas type jumper for your dog, but also a matching one for a human. Who doesn't want to dress up? Families dress up in the same pajamas. Who doesn't want to get their dog involved and have them in the same pajamas or the same Christmas jumper? I think that'd be awesome. It's definitely a novelty and something fun for Christmas day that people are going to buy into. Next thing I want to show you is a ramp, a ramp to help dogs get up onto sofas, get up onto beds. Um, before you leave the video thinking this is a not very good product, let me show you the comments section. And like I mentioned in the introduction as well, it's not about copying what I'm showing you. It's about taking the concepts that I'm showing you and finding an, an original and unique product, i.e. products like this. This product does exactly the same thing. It's steps that allow a cat or a dog that might be of elderly age or overweight or have joint problems, that's your marketing angle. It allows them to get up to higher areas without the risk of hurting themselves. This one is unique in the fact that it has obviously um, this cove in here for a nice um, bed, nice place for the pet to, to rest. This one is pretty good in the fact that it looks like a genuine piece of furniture and that would fit into somebody's living room. And I believe the stair element actually goes into it. So you just kind of pull it in and out. You can look, you pull it in and out when you want it. So if you don't want your dog on the sofa, you close it. If you do, you open it. And I think in general, it looks like a decent piece of kit as well. It's not a piece of tack that people are going to throw away or not see much quality or value too. It's also a nice place, as you can see, it's got a storage compartment in and people go mental for storages. Let's have a look at the comment section though, because I just want to prove to you that there is a genuine demand for this product. So they are great, this is great. I think Gary uses one of these to get in and out of bed. We have three great for mini dashions. So there's your target market. When you're advertising this, um, you want to be targeting people who own smaller dogs. I love mine, I've had it over 10 years. Love this ramp for my senior dog. I told you that it's awesome, I love mine. I have two and love them, I have one, it's wonderful. Your target market for this is for older senior dogs um, and also for dogs with smaller legs, smaller breed dogs that struggle to get up um, into higher areas. Next product I wanna show you is the sniff mat. Not specifically this one, again, the concept. It's a proven fact that these sniff mats are good sellers if you can find a quality product. The reason being is because there's a couple of different marketing angles for sniff mats. Um, number one, you can use it to feed your dog. So if you have a greedy dog, like um, a beagle, I couldn't think of the breed name then, but if you have a greedy dog that scoffs their food, it's bad for them. They can end up choking it up. It can cause different problems. You can communicate that to the person who sees the ad and then present this product as a solution. It's also a great product to help tire out a dog. It's, I read something recently that stimulating a dog by smell, so having treats hidden where they have to sniff them through and find them out, actually exhausts a dog more than physical exercise. It's definitely an angle that people will appreciate. It will keep their dog busy. If they need to get something done, they need to keep their dog busy. They can chuck a load of treats in this and it's gonna take them 20 minutes, half an hour sniffing through, finding the individual treats. So you might wanna have a look around for the supplier, your go-to supplier, and find a unique, higher quality product than this one. The reason I picked this one is because there's these different areas in it. And I believe it's machine washable too. Like this one looks like higher quality because it's bigger, looks a bit more solid. Um, machine washable dog things um, are super, super important because people don't ask want to be hand washing things. They can just chuck it in the washing machine um, and it comes out like new, then it's a win-win, isn't it? The fifth product I want to show you, there is one more after this, so make sure you stay tuned 
is the dog bed. When you go for it's a proven fact, dog beds are great sellers all year round, even more so in Q4, and proven seven figure concepts. What you want to do though is you want to find a dog bed that they won't have seen before. Don't stress it how important this is. When it comes to being successful in dropshipping, you need to be unique. You need to sell something, you need to get in at the beginning. If you try and sell the same thing as everybody else, most people fail. So if you're doing the same as most people, you're going to fail too. Try and find those unique products or those proven concepts and then a unique product that matches that concept. This is one of those products. I also picked this because I think it looks like a pretty decent quality product. It's unique in the fact that it's a mat and it's got the memory foam in, so it's always gonna be super comfortable, but then it's got like a cushion that you strap around in that the dog can rest their head on, a bit like this desk chair here. Perfect, perfect marketing material if you can get a cute dog to come in and just fall over onto it and put their head on top. I think that would be marketing gold. So a brilliant, brilliant product. I think you saw it scrolling across here, over a thousand sold. It does say 2024, is it new for this year? I would have to double check and research into it. But either way, a good looking product, one that would be easy to market and one that is, and one that would have great profit margins too. At $10 delivered, you could easily sell this for $40 with memory foam if it has the memory phone inserts. Do your research too, see if it's removable with a machine washable cover, because again, super, super important. Moving on to the last and controversial products then, um, is this. Let me know in the comment section what you think to this. So over 2000 of them have been sold. So there's obviously somewhat of a demand for it. You could put it on your store for $20, make it a very cheap novelty meme type product. You could create some funny content around it. You could order some of these. You can film some content with your dog running around with what looks like a cigar, obviously not a cigar, but um, in its mouth. There's some funny pictures, in fact, on here on AliExpress that you could actually use. It's definitely the sort of thing that would get attention. Whether you want to assign yourself or associate yourself with things like this, obviously completely up to you. I personally wouldn't, but my job is to give you ideas for products here that I think will sell really well. I think this will get lots and lots of attention on social media. There's going to be people watching this video that couldn't care less watching this video that think, oh, that's a brilliant product and probably even know somebody that they would consider buying one of these for. So that's a controversial one. It's definitely going to get attention, that sort of thing, especially with the right piece of content and attention equals sales. With that being said, guys, thanks for watching the video. Before you go, one very quick message. If you're interested in one-to-one -one help from myself to grow your business into Q4 and make the most of this time of year, do not be one of those people that wakes up in January and thinks, damn it, I've missed Q4. I wish I started dropshipping a few months ago. In fact, I had a call with somebody last week who said they've been researching for five years, five years, and they still haven't started the dropshipping business. Don't be that person. Start now. Put yourself in a position you've still got time to capitalize on these final three months of the year. If you want some help doing that, make sure you check out the links in the video description below. Cheers.